Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we have for you a very simplistic diagram of a three phase system, especially a four wire three phase system. But we're also going to talk about some very important concepts on a three phase system. First of all, we have three sources of voltage, typically all within the same generator, but the three, phase, the three sources are 120 degrees apart from one another in phase. In other words, the first one would be at zero degrees, the next one at minus 120, and the third one at minus 240 degrees, which means that the current going through each of the loads on each of the three wires providing the voltage will then also be 120 degrees out of phase. Notice we have our three loads, Z, the load for A, the load for B, and the load for C, but if a three-phase system is balanced, and that is the desired state of a three-phase system, that means that the magnitude of the phase voltage for A, the magnitude of the phase voltage for B, and the magnitude of the phase voltage for C are all equal to one another, so we can simply call it the phase voltage, understanding that the three separate sources for the three phases of voltage have the exact same magnitude. They're simply 120 degrees apart in phase. And it's very important that they are exactly 120 degrees out of phase. Of course, when you make your generator and you put your coils at the exact location where they need to be, that then guarantees that they'll be exactly 120 degrees out of phase. In addition to that, since the currents are also 120 degrees out of phase, and since if we have a balanced system, we require that the loads must be the same on each of the three wires. In other words, the load for A, the load for B, and the load for C should all be equal to one another. Therefore, we just call it the load impedance. If we have a balanced system, not only are the voltages exactly the same, just separate in phase or different in phase, the load impedances must be exactly the same as well for any device that requires all three of the phases. And therefore, if a system is balanced, we can then say that the currents will therefore add up to zero because the different phases, and therefore the current on the neutral will be zero. So basically, in summary, if we have a balanced four-wire three-phase system, or even a three-wire three-phase system without the neutral, but if there's a neutral there, we can say that the voltages must have the same magnitude, the impedances must be exactly the same on each of the three wires, and therefore, the current will add, all add up to zero, and therefore, there's no current come back on the neutral. And therefore, if there's no current on the neutral, we can simply detach the neutral, and it should not make any difference on the system if the system is perfectly balanced. So keep those things in mind. We're going to need them as we study the exact voltage, current, and power deliveries to the system. And that's how it's done.